hello guys welcome back to my channel if you're new on this channel thank you so much for stopping by and if you're a returning subscriber thank you thank you thank you and please if you're yet to subscribe to this channel ensure you do so and tap on the bell icon for notifications each time i upload new videos okay today i'll be showing you how to you know alter your body's pattern for a raglan sleeve design okay isn't that interesting so if you're interested in this video definitely keep on watching so i'll be altering this um, basic bodice pattern for my raglan um, sleeve design okay so um, the first pattern I'm going to be using is the back bodies you can as well work on the front bodies first so whichever one you prefer so I'm going to be measuring uh, my round arm hole as you can see in this video so and after doing that you locate the midpoint okay so if it is 10 inches then the midpoint is going to be 5 inches so you are going to remeasure to be able to get the actual um, uh, point for the mid armhole. Okay, so this is my mid armhole, and I'm going to be coming down from that point by 0 0.5 inch. Okay, so and of course I will be marking that as my uh, new point. Okay, so now I will be going over to the neckline. From this point, I will come down by one one quarter inch. That's um, 1.25 inches. Wow. Yeah. So, this is what I am doing right now. And I'm going to be, of course, marking it and um, connecting the two points together with a straight line. Okay. So, um um so you connect of course with a straight line and um you can now get the midpoint of the same line so i would um place my tape measure on this line and fold over to get the mid point okay so so once you are able to locate the midpoint the next thing is to go up by 0 0.375 inch or 38 inch 0 0.375 so once you are done doing that with the help of um, a curve ruler you will connect just do it the way you're seeing here okay so use the curve part and don't let it be too deep so then you turn the ruler again and also draw a line as shown so then um, you can now blend it well using the deeper side of the um, driller so this is what I have right now So from this point, just go down by 1.5 inches from the chest line, go down by 1.5 inches, then you can now blend it from that point, just like this. So 
so this is my new armor line i hope you understand so just use your pen or probably pencil to blend it and smoothen the line that's all so this is what i have So this is the arm hole. This is my neckline. And this is my shoulder. I'm doing this to avoid confusion, okay? So by the time you, you know, join this to the sleeve, it could look confusing to, to me or to anyone, okay? So in order to avoid that, so now in on this um, front body's pattern I wanted to remove the dart and probably relocate the dart to the waistline but I changed my mind so since it's the alteration won't get to the dart line okay so from that point just move down just the way you did on the back bodies by 1.5 inches so then you ensure that the amount you took from the uh, back body's pattern, you are doing the same thing on this front bodies. Okay, so from this point, just measure the amount you took or you measured on the back bodies. Measure it on this one. This down part must be the same with the back so the upper part is not really necessary okay so just blend it well with the help of a ruler the curve part of the ruler So now I'm going to be coming down by 1.25 inch. You measure from the top, from the top down, okay, 1.25. Then you can now connect the two points together. So can you see now so now as usual i am going to be you know um, marking or locating my midpoint i'm folding over as usual and marking it and also doing what i had already done before from this point you go up by 0.375 inch to get all to spin up to be able to draw your curve line smoothly okay so this is what you should do and how you should do it so can you see now So I'm going to be blending or smoothing, yeah, the curve. Okay, so this is what I have. And um, the next thing for me now is to bring the back bodies. Can you see how it looks right now? So this line must be the same with this line. Very important. So now this is what we'll be doing in the part two of this video. So please stay tuned. Now I'm going to be cutting it. So because this is what I will need to, you know, add to my sleeve pattern. 
to make it a raglan sleeve okay so now you see me cutting it right now and i'm going to be doing the same on the other pattern okay so i think this is the back okay so and um, this is my front pattern and um, i'm also going to be doing the same thing cutting it and adding it to the sleeve so but for today's video this is just all we have to do to avoid so long video okay so i think you understand um my explanation from the beginning to the end and um, if you do not understand please you are free to drop your questions in the comment section and um, i promise to respond to all of those questions okay and please if you are yet to subscribe to my channel ensure you do so and um, do not also forget to um, click on that bell for more video notifications thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next video bye